Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today, I want to make a video and talk about a question that's always popping up, uh, especially when you have newer people that come into this uh, industry and they have the small van. And they always come on and they ask the question, can I make money with this van? And the, you can make van, and the answer is that, you know, to that to me is yes, you can make money in your van. Um, how much money is what you really should be, or, or my, I should say how, how can you make money should be the question. How can I make money with this van should be the question you ask because you can make money with your car, with your pickup truck. And so I, I never really understood asking that question to people um, about how, how uh, can I make money in my van? You know, when I came out with my van, I didn't ask anybody anything about can I make money because they can't tell me. You know, they can't tell me. I already when you buy your van, you should already know that you're gonna you can make money with it or why else buy it. So the quick question, the quick answer to that question is yes. But how can you make money is the uh, question you should be asking. And so when you ask that question, you're probably gonna get a, a it's either yes or no, really. And so you're probably gonna get a few different answers you'll have people tell you no but i would never listen to somebody telling me no about the type of money i can make for my business you started your business you know you go ahead and finish it you know you should you know you should do your research before and and already have things aligned you know to to help make you money but when you have those people telling you no you know don't don't accept that that's not that's not that's not true a lot of times when people tell you no it's someone that probably got a Sprinter van or a box truck or a van that's just that's bigger than yours. So, in my, to me, when I hear somebody that that use those, that type of equipment, I automatically assume that they don't have experience in a smaller van. And if they do have experience in a smaller van and it, and they wasn't successful, then they wasn't successful. They have nothing to do with you. They 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 wasn't creative enough. They didn't know how to how to you know think out the box, outside the box to help them you know, make the money that they need to make. But that has nothing to do with you and your business. So, like I said, I don't don't listen to those people that that have that don't have the experience in a smaller van because the, the the grind is different. You know, if you have a box truck or a sprinter van, you know, you you have a, a lot of opportunity to grab uh, just about almost anything if you have the you know the right size van or box truck. And with a smaller van, you don't. So you have to do things a little differently. So you have to work a little harder. They don't have to worry about that. So they can't tell you, you know. So we want you want to kind of you want to, you know, get that noise out of you. You don't you want to get rid of that noise. That, that's not that's not uh, what you want to hear. Um, I also, and and this is really more about the way you think. So for me, when I hear someone say. No, I, I look at them as just an average person. You know, a, a, a average, you're not average. You know, when, when, when you have a phenomenal wheel, you can take your average vehicle, that, that short van or a small van, and, and, you can, and you can do great things with it. But when you think average or below average, your, your first answer is gonna be no. But that's not why I'm here. That's not why I make these videos to tell anybody what they can't do. Um, I saw someone ask a question there about can they make money in, uh, I think with a pickup truck. And all I saw was people saying no. No, no, no. But as I always say, they, nobody can tell you what you can do with your, with your vehicle, your, your business. So kill that noise. Um, I, I also don't understand, you know, when you ask these questions, are you looking for permission to be great? Like, do you really need to ask these people, you know, um, can I do this? Can I do that? If you have a question about something that's illegal, legal, and something like that, where, you know, I can understand. But when, when it comes to you saying, asking someone, can I do something that, that you got control over? You know, you, we asking strangers for que about things that we got control over. And so, if it's anything, if it's type, if if it's information, um, like 
how do I do this? If it's how do I do that, that's different. But we can't keep asking people, can I be successful? Can I can I do this? That's 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 not because you're gonna have people that's gonna try to discourage you. And and like I said, that's not something that I'm here to do. And so I'm gonna give you an example. Like this week, this past week, I was in Charlotte the whole week. I wanted to go to Charlotte to see, you know, if it's if it's busy there. So everybody know I got a smaller van. Every day, except for Monday, I had a load. And I'm talking about uh, over the road. Now, a lot of people, they, you know, when they when they say, no, you can't make your van or make money in your small van, they're, they're mainly talking about you can't make money over the road, which is also not true. Now, like I said, don't get me wrong. It, it, it can be more difficult than somebody that have a Sprinter van or a box truck. But even people with Sprinter vans and box trucks, they don't get loaded every day. They don't have loads every day. It's days where they're not they're not working, so you're not you're not guaranteed to have you know to have work to get loads. If you don't hustle, see the, a lot of things, a lot of issue, a lot of issues that we you know sometimes we rely mainly on load boards, and if that's all if that's all you focus on is load boards, you're going to have plenty of days where you struggle, and 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 that's and that's what in my other videos I try to tell you you know to go to shippers direct find other ways go to go to you can go to real estate um uh businesses and and you can you can transport important documents you can, it's, it's it's a lot of things you can do you can go to law offices and, and transport uh and be a courier but um uh, but back to the ex expediting yes you can make, I like make money over the over the road I, like i said this this week i was in charlotte the whole week i worked uh tuesday through friday and I had a load every day. Um, uh, most of my loads were about within 200 miles, and I wanted that. I wanted to do it that way. I wanted to be home every night, and I was. And um, some of the days I did have to dead head back. And I know a lot of people don't like dead to the dead head back, but um, that's something that I already knew I would be doing because I wasn't that far from home. So it, I didn't. I didn't. I, I factored that in already. When it comes to gas, my van is small. So I can take, I can fill my tank up with thirty five dollars and and be able to make it to my pickup and make it halfway back to uh, home before I have to get some more gas. So um, by the end of the week, I was at my goal. My goal for the week was eighteen hundred dollars. That's what I wanted to make and and be home every night. My and I ended up with sixteen eighty nine. Uh, and that's net after after gas and everything else. I made sixteen eighty nine, and I, I and I didn't work Monday, so it can be done. Now, I mean, I had opportunities to go out to Houston from Charlotte. I had other opportunities to go over the road, but I chose not to. Now, if it, I could have got to Houston, and, and it would have been a, it could have been a struggle, or any place else could have been a struggle. But you know, I wanted to test out the Charlotte market and see what I can do every day, and so I made sixteen eighty nine. And that was like I said, I was within 200 miles of, of of home, and that was that's what I wanted to do. Now, um, again, I know a lot of people are gonna say that, you know, they may feel like I'm I'm being, I'm kind of leading people down the wrong uh, path. But in the comments, you tell me how, because like I uh, you know I tell people that they can do the things that they want to do, and then you got the the more experienced people, so they say that would sit here and tell you what you can't do. And I'm sitting here telling you, I'm not listening to somebody tell me what I can't do because I'm in, I'll make control of my life and my business, right? And so so today, this morning, I had a load going to uh, Atlanta. It was from Camden, South Carolina to Atlanta to East Point, Georgia. And when I get there, I noticed someone else there in a, uh, in a Dodge, um, it probably was 2500 1500 I don't know which one it was. It's bigger than mine, but it wasn't an extended uh, van. And um, so I spoke to him a little bit. He, you know, he said he'd been in the business for about five years. And he had, and, and he got a route that's uh, three days out of the week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, it's two, it's, um, he said it was three, three, three deliveries on each of those days. So at each, it was a box. All he cared, all he delivered is a box. It was, he go in and he picked it up, put it in his van. And it's two hundred dollars per uh, per per delivery. So, and the route was he said was within four miles of his home. So, on those three days, he's making six hundred dollars to drive four four miles from his home. 
So uh, that's what eighteen hundred dollars in three days. But he had to be and and, and so and speaking of the size of the van, he don't even need that van to make that kind of money. So he had not, but he had to be creative enough to go out. Or, or, or not, I ain't say creative, but he had to go out and hustle for that, that type of route. He had to go knocking on some doors. And that's what a lot of times what we have to do. We got to knock on some doors. So, yes, you can make money in your small van. You can make money expediting. But when you see here and you try to compare the money that the guys that, that drive from, you know, Florida to California in a, in a, in a sprint van and, they, and, they, and you listen to the money that they make, yeah, you gonna you already at a disadvantage because we're not we're not trying to focus on what they're doing. We gotta we gotta live our own life for our own family and and have a a, a goal or a metric or something that you need to be meet for yourself. So I'm not worried about what somebody else is is making every week. I know what I want to make to make to for me to feel uh, comfortable uh, to pay my bills and do whatever else I need to do. And that's what you all need to do and, and stop letting these people tell you what you can and can't do. And so uh, that's pretty much what this video was about is to is to remember that we don't you don't need permission from anyone to be great. You don't need permission from anybody to to tell you what you can do in your business, uh, how to, how to run your business is yours. If you want if you have questions on how to do things, that's fine. But I, I just want people to stop asking those questions cuz I mean I can I can get on in the group right now and see, because uh, before I made this video, I just saw where people was somebody was asking questions about can they make money and people just saying no. So who who you know who you want to uh, you know let control you? Because that's what it seems like we're doing when you ask people that you know it's a lot of, it's a lot of negative folks that are gonna that's 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 shooting us down, telling them what you can't do and. I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, when I post my videos in the group, I get a lot of uh, not mo not a lot, but I get a lot of people saying things that you know about my videos and what I say, and they disagree. But y'all know, um, a lot of times I don't even have to respond to them because it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be other people that's gonna respond, and and everybody know that I'm coming with positive energy and I'm letting you know that you can do it. And so that's what this uh, this video is about. Um, you, you do it your way, and and just and be successful. So, um, like I said, I saw I I want to speak on this too. I just saw a, a post where somebody was ready to, uh, you know, sell their truck because you know they they started off in the business and and they they're not uh they're not getting loads, and and I have I see people come in saying you you got to go knock on these doors, man, like. I remember when I first, when I uh, not too long, probably a few weeks ago, when I was making, when I made the video talking about how I was going from uh, going to the shippers direct, and you know I have some people say yes, and some people say no. You're gonna have a lot of people say uh, we already have um, contracts, but I told my cousin about it, and he was like, that that's that's what you do when you're hungry, because at first I was just like hey, looking at the load boards, uh, hoping somebody would send me something, but he said when you get hungry. You start to do things like that. You, you go knocking on doors because a lot of people they put a lot of money into this business for the vehicle, for the insurance that's high. And so I'm telling you, the mold boards um, waiting on the dispatcher is not going to be is not is not going to set you up for success. You have to do that. And that's why he's saying, you know, we 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 letting others control our future in this business. The low board's not gonna get you. It'll, it'll help you out some days, some days it won't. But it's all about the relationships you build, and 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 when you do have those opportunities to get lows, you know, make sure you're doing a good job and, and communicating. And so um, that's that's pretty much all I got to say. Um, subscribe, like, um, comment, which I know some of you will, and I'll get back with you next time. As you can tell, like I'm, I'm kind of drained with this this question. This this topic is. You know, I, I'm, I'm pretty much tired of people asking that question. Yes, you can make money, but that's all I got to say. I'm out of here. See y'all next time.